Happy Friday and happy Memorial Day. I'm Trace and thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. Each week we recap the top stories of the last seven days, plus your social media comments. This week, scientists are looking for Bigfoot, for real this time. We found a turtle that's as big as a smart car, and there was a solar eclipse last weekend. In case you missed it, let's get down to business. Bigfoot and Yeti DNA study gets serious. Sasquatch, Yeti, Bigfoot, Harry, Abominable Snowman. This giant, hairy, man-like beast has lived in the woods and intrigued the conspiracy slash X-Files slash fringe community for a long time, and scientists are finally getting serious about finding one. Researchers from Oxford University and the Lausanne Museum of Zoology are asking for people with collections of cryptozoological material to submit it for study. Yep, cryptozoology. It means study of hidden animals, and scientists are finally calling out those pseudoscientists. Simply put, you just saw the scientific version of, you want to take this outside? Your internal validity sucks. Oh yeah? Well, your double-blind study wasn't even single-blind. Your research question doesn't even take into account oxidation states above three. Do you even have a second PhD? <laughs> I bet your dissertation was on Spanish sonnets. Oh! <laughs> your research is so bad, I bet you was peer reviewed by second graders. <laughs> Brian Sykes of Oxford issued the challenge to cryptozoologists, hoping that they will send DNA samples to him for analysis. He doesn't expect to find a yeti or a chupacabra, but he does hope that he'll find a new species. Search for the Sasquatch at discoverynews.com slash who's that Bigfoot. And speaking of giant animals, we got another one for you. Car-sized turtle found in a Colombian coal mine. Remains of a giant smart car-sized turtle were found in a Colombian coal mine. The shell of this 60 million year old turtle is about the size of a small swimming pool and its head is the size of an NFL regulation football. It appeared 5 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs and lived in what is more or less an Amazon-like environment. The experts believe that a combination of changes in the ecosystem, like fewer predators or more food, more living space, and climate changes allowed these giant species to survive. Today, turtles are thought of as slow, plant-munching herbivores. Boring. Stinky. But these guys, they were giant predators. They had massive jaws that could crush anything so they could eat smaller turtles or even friggin' crocodiles. See how big it is at discoverynews.com slash giant coal turtle. Now moving away from large animals, we've got another story for you. Will you see today's annular solar eclipse? While it didn't happen today, that's just the title of the story, Discovery News knows eclipses make news. We cover them every time because we love them and you love them. This annular solar eclipse started in East Asia and moved its way across the Pacific to the western United States, with the moon partially obscuring the sun. Annularity, or an annular eclipse, means that at no time will the moon be completely obscuring the sun as opposed to a total eclipse. These are known as a ring of fire. You might remember from science class, but when the moon goes around the earth, its orbit is not a perfect circle, but in fact an oval, which means that at some time it's farther away from the earth than others. In an annular eclipse, the moon is so far away that it can't completely cover the sun. That's what we had last week. The eclipse started in the morning in East Asia, and by sunset had reached the western United States. Space.com reported that 13,000 people gathered in Colorado for a giant eclipse viewing party. That is pretty cool. I hope you got a chance to experience this event, but if you didn't, you can visit discoverynews.com slash yoursolar2012 to see our user photos. If you want to learn more about the eclipse, you can also visit discoverynews.com slash annular eclipse 2012. So that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Discovery News. Make sure that if you want to see our coverage, that you like us on Facebook, you follow us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also go to discoverynews.com, find links for those, and subscribe to our Discovery newsletter. Keep commenting and tweeting. I read them all and have a great day. We'll see you next week in Discovery News. Cryptozoological. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your sonnets were on Spanish. Cryptozoological car sized turtle will. I'm doing this for like the three people that are still watching. <laughs>